relationship, of a very friendly relationship, since Ukraine was a part of the USSR. And uh, of course, we uh, unfortunately lost some time while we were building our new democracy and looking for our self-identification. Uh, and uh, we were more concentrated, most probably, on uh, building ties in our region, which was absolutely necessary and uh, obvious. But uh, today is the time where we really have to expand our foreign policy and to see uh, to the important partners in the regions. And South Africa is an important partner in Sub-Saharan. Africa and in all Africa we recognize it and uh, uh, Ukraine is a very important partner in the east of, uh, of uh, the Europe because this is the entry point to, to, to the region. Uh, I would uh, first of all would like to start from uh, our commitment uh, as of Ukraine uh, to bring uh, African voice to the United Nations Security Council, which we were always uh, declaring. And uh, it is uh, an obvious uh, issue for us, and we will be supporting African countries on that. Uh, we really uh, have to work on all the uh, levels of possible cooperation between our two countries, not only because all of them are important, but because the post-COVID situation or in-COVID situation are forcing us to really act innovatively and decisively now. Uh, you are right that uh, our economical relations uh, are not on their, in their best uh, history now and our trade uh, turnover dropped down dramatically since a uh, couple of years. Uh, and. Uh, now, the embassy of Ukraine and the Ukrainian side, I must assure that uh, paying a lot of attention and uh, searching for really different opportunities how to, to work out this. And I will tell you later uh, what is the strategic plan for that. Uh, we had uh, the meeting of all the ambassadors of Ukraine with the Minister of Foreign Affairs last year in December. And it was dedicated to the diplomacy day of uh, Ukraine. 